Police in New Jersey have arrested former 49ers running back Frank Gore. The 39-year-old was charged after an alleged domestic violence incident with a 28-year-old woman last month in Atlantic City. Police say the victim did not show any signs of physical injury and initially did not file a complaint, but a subsequent investigation led to a simple assault charge against Gore. I'm going to be frank with you. <laughs> I don't know what is going on with legendary running backs recently. Yesterday, we made a video on Marshawn Lynch, unfortunately, getting arrested for a DUI. And thankfully, no one got hurt. If you missed it, then you could check out that video on your screen before you check this video out. Or we'll leave it in the end screen for you to check out after. But this story is so freaking bizarre that, yes, this video is going to get demonetized, by the way, just based upon the contents of this video. So make sure you drop a like to help us in the algorithm, man. We could use as much help as we can get for this topic in particular. And of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on our notifications to help the channel grow. And if you want shorter versions of this content, follow us on Instagram and on TikTok at the flight mic on Instagram and at microphone NFL on TikTok. Now that we get all that out of the way. Wait, how do I do this? I go like this, right? Yeah. It doesn't feel right. Break! Mic check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? Frank Gore doesn't really need much of an introduction. He is most notorious for being the NFL's greatest Iron Man. I mean, this is a guy that spent 16 seasons in the NFL, but what was even more impressive about that is he was very productive during those 16 seasons. And on top of that, he did it at a position that typically has the lowest shelf life in the entire NFL, the running back position. And just looking at Frank Gore, man, he is one hell of an athlete. He's only five foot nine too, so that just makes his achievements even more impressive. And he wasn't supposed to be this good coming out of college. He was a third round draft pick in the 2005 NFL draft. And I guess you could say that his career trajectory is kind of mirroring Herschel Walker in the sense that Herschel Walker, once he was done with football, he decided to jump into fighting. And that's what Frank Gore did. He recently jumped into fighting and had a match against Darren Williams, who was a former NBA player and lost in a split decision to him. But for the most part, we haven't heard of Frank Gore, the football player since 2020 until now. So this is coming to to us from multiple reports. The first news source that I got this report from was none other than Bleacher Report. And it was very vague. It said former NFL running back Frank Gore charged with assault and domestic violence investigation. And all we heard is former NFL running back Frank Gore has been charged with simple assault in connection to a domestic violence investigation in Atlantic City, New Jersey, according to TMZ Sports. Well, when you click on TMZ Sports, the details of this are absolutely insane because it's not just a simple domestic violence that is being alleged. I mean, just take a look at this headline. Cops, Frank Gore dragged naked woman by her hair in Atlantic City incident. Yes, you read that right. Frank Gore allegedly dragged a naked woman by her hair in an Atlantic City hotel. So here's what the details of this say. Frank Gore grabbed a naked woman by her hair and dragged her across a hotel room's hallway during an altercation in Atlantic Atlantic City, New Jersey last month, according to new bombshell documents obtained by TMZ Sports. I mean, that's the third time I said it in the past minute and it's still like, whoa, like what? <laughs> like, I don't mean to laugh, but it's just, you don't read headlines like this every day. The cops say that the incident between the NFL legend and a 28 year old woman happened in the early morning hours of July 31st on the 59th floor of the Tropicana Casino's Havana Tower. Now, so far we have documents. What I am thinking is, if this went down in a hotel room, especially the Tropicana Casino's Havana Tower, I feel like there's got to be camera footage of this incident somewhere. And if this actually took place, then maybe in the next coming days, we might actually get footage of this. So, so far, all we have is documentation. And the documents say Gore forcibly gripped the woman by her hair before, quote unquote, violently dragging her nude person along the floor of the 59 hallway. Bro, I just... 
I, I, I don't, I can't, I'm a commentator, but I don't know how to commentate on this. But the, wait, if you thought that was crazy, it gets even crazier because we get even more information. As we previously reported, Atlantic City Police said officers were initially called out to the scene at around 8.11 a.m. on the 31. They did not make any arrests after they said the woman, quote unquote, did not exhibit signs of injury. So if you want one piece of positive information in regards to this absolutely bizarre scenario, it's the fact that despite the woman being dragged no one was hurt in this incident, but Gore would eventually get charged days later with simple assault after cops said that they further investigated the allegations. So as a result of this, Frank Gore, according to records, is due in court for a hearing in the case in October, and he has yet to publicly comment on the accusation. So the very first thing I'm thinking is, apart from the whole fact that I'm shocked about this, is what were the events that transpired that put but Frank Gore, which bear in mind, 39 year old man, a well-mannered individual throughout his entire career, by the way. I mean, this is a guy that was a great locker room presence. People loved having him around. And for the most part, when you look at him in interviews and just the way he addressed the media, he seemed to be a fairly level-headed guy. I mean, don't get me wrong, he transitioned into combat sports, but what I'm curious about is what happened to set Frank Gore off this much to put him in a scenario where, first of all, no man should be doing this to any woman at all whatsoever. I think that goes without saying, but you're doing this in a public area. I mean, you don't really need to be a 39-year-old man or that wise of an individual to know that it's probably not the best idea to drag a 28-year-old woman in a public hotel in an area that most probably has cameras of you doing it. Now, this is just my own theory. I am very confident that there should be camera footage of this if it actually went down. I could be wrong, but I just haven't been to a hotel in Las Vegas or in Atlantic City that doesn't have like security cameras on every single floor. That's just standard in hotel rooms, not in the actual room, but it, I'm imagining that what went down didn't occur in a hotel room, but it happened like in between the hotel rooms because it literally says over here that he violently dragged her nude person along the floor of the 59th hallway. So a part of me is a little curious about what set Frank Gore off this much? I mean, what did this woman have on Frank Gore or what does she say to Frank Gore to make him act in such a way? Because we've never seen this type of behavior from him throughout his entire career. He doesn't have a single DV case to his name. But on top of that, I'm just gonna say, obviously, I am happy that this woman didn't get hurt. I'm happy that it didn't end up worse for both parties. And just generally where my head's at about this is genuine curiosity as to one, what's going on with NFL legendary running backs over the past past 48 hours? And two, what went on behind the scenes to put Frank Gore in this situation? Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. I personally am a little baffled by the title of this, but I'd like to hear what you have to say. Aside from that, I'm your boy Mike, and I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.